Hey, welcome to the Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about the basics of writing a C++ program. We're just gonna talk generally about what programs are and how we can write them. And we're gonna write a little program which is gonna print out a shape onto the screen. So this is gonna be pretty fun. But down here, I just have this basic program. And when I first created my C++ project in the last tutorial, we sort of got this basic program and this was kind of given to us. And this is, you know, essentially just a very simple C++ program. So I'm gonna walk you guys through essentially what we have here. We're gonna talk about a couple different things and then we'll start writing some code. So up here, we have these two lines of code. Um, this is like hashtag include IO stream. And this one says using Namescape STD. Essentially what this does is it's kind of like configuration options for our C++ file. As a beginner, like, you know, don't really worry too much about what this stuff is or what it's doing. We're going to talk more about uh, all this stuff later in the course, but for now, just know that you need to have it there in order for us to write our programs. Down here, we have this line, it says int main, and there's an open and close parentheses. This is actually what's called a function in C++. Again, don't worry too much about what a function is. Um, I'm just kind of throwing out these words just so you're kind of familiar with hearing them. But essentially what this is, is it's, it's a container for us to put the code inside of our C++ programs. So this function called main is a very special function because any lines of code that we put inside of here, in other words, any lines of code that we put in between these open and closed curly brackets is actually gonna get executed when we run our program. So down here, I just have this thing, it says return zero. And again, don't worry too much about what this is. Um, just know that you need to have this in this main function. Over here though, we have an actual line of code. So this says C out and then it says hello world, then it says end L. And this is a basic line of code in our program. So again, any lines of code that we put in between these curly brackets for this main function is gonna get executed when we run our program. So if I was to come up here and run my program and I'm just gonna click this build and run option right here, you'll see when the program runs, it prints out hello world. And you'll see this little window that opened up here. This is what we would call the console. And the console is basically just a little window that will output information. So whenever we run our C++ code, this console window is gonna open up. And sometimes we can tell C++ that we wanna print things out onto this console window. So if you ever hear me referring to the console, I'm just referring to this window right here. Now let's get down and start talking about uh, programming. So again, any of the code inside this main function is gonna get executed. And here we just have one line of code. So what I could actually do is I could copy this and down below here I could say something else. So I could say just like my name, Mike. And now when I run this program, you'll see it's gonna print out both of these things. So here on the first line, it prints out hello world. And then over here on the second line, it prints out Mike. And this is just sort of like basically how we could print something out to the console. And you'll see over here it says C out and that stands for console out. And then over here, you'll see we have this little line, it says end L, and this stands for end line. And basically what this means is we're ending the line where we're going to print out text. So you'll notice that we printed out hello world and then on the next line we printed out Mike. So using these little print statements, I'm actually gonna show you guys how we can write a little program that's gonna draw a shape out onto the screen. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and get rid of this text. And I'm just gonna copy this guy here a couple times. So we'll make like four of these and I'm gonna print out a triangle onto the screen. So I'm just gonna print a forward slash and then we'll do a space and a forward slash and I'm just gonna keep doing this and you'll see we're kind of drawing this little diagonal shape upwards. Now I'm gonna use vertical bars and we're gonna go all the way down. So I'm just gonna keep going like this and down here, why don't we put some underscores and then we'll put the last vertical bar. So you'll see over here, I'm actually writing out a bunch of instructions and each of these instructions is telling C++ that we wanna print out a different line onto the console. So now when I run my program, you'll see we're actually printing out this little triangle. So this is a very basic program, but you'll see just by using those four simple instructions, we were able to actually draw something out onto the screen. So let's talk about this. 
Essentially what's happening when we click that run button is C++ is going and it's looking inside of our program. And the first thing it's gonna do is it's gonna look for this main function right here. So it's gonna look for this block of code and that's basically just what a function is. It's gonna look for this block of code called main and inside of these open and close curly brackets, it's gonna execute all of the instructions inside of there. And basically when we're writing a program, all we're doing is we're just telling the computer a bunch of instructions. So we're giving the computer a bunch of instructions that we want it to carry out. So imagine that, uh, for example, in real life, like you were using a recipe or something. A recipe is a lot like a program. A recipe has a list of instructions. And if you follow those instructions correctly, then you end up with like something delicious. That's basically what a program is program is just a collection of instructions that we're giving to the computer. And we can give the computer simple instructions like this, and we can do something simple like draw out a shape. But as we go through this course and we learn more and more complex instructions and we learn how to use them together in unison with each other, we're going to be able to tell the computer to do a bunch of complex things. So the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is the order that these instructions get executed. So just like if you were following a recipe and you would start with the first instruction and you'd go down to the last instruction, the computer is going to execute these instructions in order. So it's going to start with this instruction. And basically here, we're just telling the computer or we're telling C++ that we want to print this line of text out onto the screen. So C++ is going to do this. And then once it's done with that, it's going to move on to this instruction. It's going to print this out to the screen, out onto the screen, et cetera. It's going to keep doing that. So actually, let me show you guys, if I was to get rid of this line and I was to put it up here, now you'll see when we run our program that we're going to print out a funky looking shape. So instead of this base being down at the bottom here, we're going to print it out on the top. And that's because we changed the order of the instructions. So again, all a program is, is it's just a set of instructions that we give to the computer. That's it. It's very simple. The more complex instructions that we can give the computer and the more ways that we're able to combine those instructions in different ways, the more complex our programs are going to be. So as we go through this course, I'm going to be teaching you guys all sorts of more complex instructions. We're going to learn different ways to do different things and we'll use real world examples to build little applications and you'll end up learning a bunch along the way. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.